Hi everyone, in this video we're going to find the inverse of this 3x3 three three matrix using the TI-84 calculator. So the first step is to go into the matrix menu and enter the matrix into the calculator. So the matrix key is a blue key. So to access it, you first have to hit second. So you want to press second and then press this X to the negative one key. In other words, the matrix key. Once you get here, you want to go over to where it says edit. That's where you get to enter the matrix into the calculator. So to get to edit, you have to use the arrow keys. So I'm gonna use the right arrow key and that puts us under edit. So now you just get to pick the matrix. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick A because this one's called A and it's the first one on the list. So I'll click enter. All right, so now we have to enter what's called the dimension of the matrix. So the dimension is a number that tells us the rows and columns. The first number is the rows. So we have one, two, three rows. So I'll hit three. Then I'm gonna hit the arrow key. And then it has one, two, three columns. So I'll hit three. Now you can hit the down arrow key or you can hit enter. I'm gonna hit the down arrow key. All right, so now you just have to enter the numbers. So I'll type in one, then I'll hit enter, then three, then you press enter, three, and then press enter. Then it's one, you press enter, four, press enter, three, press enter. Then one, three, and finally four. Always double check to make sure that you've entered the numbers correctly. I cannot tell you how many times I have messed up. It's very, very easy to make mistakes. So one, three, three, one, four, three, one, three, four. Once you think everything is okay, it's a good idea to completely exit the matrix menu. So right here, it says quit. So again, quit is a blue key. So you want to hit second and then press the mode button or in other words, the quit button. So quit. So now we have to go back to the matrix menu. So you hit second matrix. And now just go ahead and click the matrix here under names. So just press enter. And we have to find the inverse. So here's the really cool part. This is like the best part. Um, right here, it says X to the negative one. So all you do is press that button and then just hit enter. And there's the answer. I mean, it's that easy. Let me do it again. You go to second matrix hit enter, and then just press that button and hit enter. And it gives you the inverse matrix. Really, really powerful stuff. Doing this by hand uh, takes, takes a lot more work. I hope this video has been helpful. 